guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time but welcome back here is going to be a tutorial on some cute shimmery nude set that i did not too long ago first i'm going to go ahead and start off by sanitizing my client's hand and pushing back her cuticles per usual be very careful when it comes to pushing back cuticles because sometimes they are sensitive and sometimes it's not needed as much as others so be aware of that now i'm going to go ahead and grab my sanding band and i do use fine sanding bands for this process if my client tends to lift i do go use my medium ones but i try not to use that um, just because i don't want to damage the natural nail and i'm carefully doing this this is obviously sped up but i'm going around the cuticle removing any dead skin around the cuticle and just going side by side don't try um, pretty much don't put pressure on it or leave the drill on it for too long because it will create heat now carefully trimming down my client's cuticles i am being very careful with this she doesn't have much but she does have cuticles to be trimmed so i'm just pretty much cleaning it up and if you guys are probably wondering why i have my glove you know cut off for my thumb i always seem to use my thumb for a lot of things so i just have it off because i like to touch the nail when it gets warm when it gets you know if it's soft or smooth so that's just my preference now i'm gonna go ahead and use some tips for this set and a lot of you guys question the tips that i use these tips are from a local nail shop here in stockton and i really love them i'm gonna go ahead and tag pretty much the where you can purchase them um you could get them on amazon so definitely check out the description below everything will be put down there and when sizing the tips make sure they fit sidewall to sidewall, sidewall to sidewall try not to force the tip to fit if it does go a little bit over it's okay you can file it off um no problem now i'm gonna go ahead and remove the natural shine from the tip as well this is just a personal preference that i like to do just to blend the tip of you know so it can flush into the natural nail as well and this is very quick you know it doesn't take much so that's why i do it as well um this and also i do it before i trim the nail because i'm pretty much going to go ahead and trim it anyways and depending on the length then that's how much i file now when I'm trimming the nail, make sure I grab the bottom of it so my tips won't be falling or flying everywhere. And I'm measuring from the cuticle, making sure everything is even, then trimming the sides because they are going to be coffin nails. Now carefully, make sure you remove the um, sharpness of this file because sometimes you can cut your client. I'm carefully shaping the sidewalls. I technically just do this because it guides me into having a nicer shape. Um, it doesn't necessarily, you don't have to do this. This is just personal preference. And some people actually file the top as well. I don't like to do that because they're just super flimsy and it's just, I prefer to just do it at the end. Now, after that, I go ahead and clean it with my manicure brush and then apply some pH bond. This is pr practically a dehydrator, so any one will do. My preference is a gelish one, and then here I'm applying protein bond. Again, depending on my client's lifting issues and just depending on their, you know, natural nail is the primer that I use. Sometimes I use an acid-based primer, sometimes I use protein bond. It all depends. Some people get more lifting than others, some don't. So I base it off of that. So definitely consider that when it comes to clients because not everyone is the same. So since I will be using all powder, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer of clear acrylic. You guys know this already that I always do this just to protect the natural nail. And when I say thin, it is super thin, like very, very thin. But when I file off a lot of things, like let's say if I file off the acrylic powder, and the layer is still going to be there it's going to protect me from over filing her natural nail it also protects it from stains if it's like a pigmented color so definitely tr give it a try try not to make it thick because i know that's the people's concerns so i just like it and it's a personal preference again now i'm going to go ahead and use this gorgeous color that i made it's pretty much a mixture of two colors i'll go ahead and show you guys right now and as you can see right now, this little bead was too wet. So try and have that consistency where it's medium to wet. Medium to dry, I'm sorry. 
um, just so that you can control the acrylic so much more and shape it like I'm doing right now. I like to shape the nail as I'm building it just because it's so much easier for me to do once I am about to file and it kind of gives me a feel of what the set's going to look like. So if you make all this like lumps and humps and it's, you know, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. If you do, it's going to be like a lot harder to file and it's just not going to look as nice as to if you were to pretty much build the nail and shape it how you want it, you're going to be excited you're gonna be oh my god this is already nice and it's not even done yet i hope that makes sense so i'm always using the Bellima brush and starting from the cuticle area very carefully trying not to get acrylic powder onto the cuticle area if you're a beginner i know it happens but just be very mindful of it have a little little itty bitty space between the cuticle and the, the acrylic just so that you won't overdo it because then that's what causes lifting and do whatever your desired thickness. I always do like, you know, medium to thin base. So my index and my ring finger are gonna have this beautiful Valentino color, Excite Me. The color that I mixed was Prima Ballerina by Glam and Glitz and Perfect Nude by Valentino. It created this gorgeous nude, shimmery tone, very settled look and you know that's what i'm into and my client loves it too so i decided to go with that now i'm going to go ahead and apply the excite me by glamming glitz on my index finger and a little bit of it on the ring finger same concept i'm going to go ahead and build the nail very very you know carefully not to flatten everything down it's just considered pretty much giving it a shape and i hope you guys are all doing good I am so sorry and I feel so bad because I haven't been putting any content. I do have another set that I just did and I haven't uploaded it because it's just the way I recorded it wasn't the right way. So I have to work with it, um, but stay tuned for that one. This one I did it the other day. It's been, I have been having like recording issues. So that's what's been happening as well. But I hope that you guys have been doing good with quarantine. I know it's been hectic and crazy for all of us but you know just stay safe and hopefully this all ends soon you know we're praying for everything to come back not to normal because there's not going to be a new normal it's going to be a new normal for sure but i hope everyone is staying safe and definitely comment below what you guys would like to see next here for the ring finger i decided to give it a little pop by adding mylar flakes these mylar flakes, I get them at Daily Charm, Ocean Nail Supply, um, just wherever I normally shop online. And they're super cute. I try not to get bigger chunks because I'm going to be applying some decals on top. And this is pretty much very, um, just a very simple set as you guys can see. Well, you guys are going to see in a little bit. But all the other ones I didn't encapsulate because they are acrylic patterns that can be filed and not be you know damaged not damaged i guess you can say they can be filed without having to be encapsulated this one though since i added encapsulated um mylar i have to encapsulate the whole thing because i do not want to file off the mylar and again it was a thin layer of that excite me and then the mylar flake and then very you know just encapsulate everything else look how gorgeous this color is very subtle even matte looks beautiful but see what I mean? Like just the little things that matter. I'm going to go ahead and file off her nails. I start, always start with the side walls of all the nails and just pretty much shape it to my desired, well, her desired shape, but you know, we're the ones that do it. So pretty much you're shaping it the way you shape nails, but what she wants. So I'm shaping it and very carefully, you know, I always have my finger holding her skin so that I won't burn her. I won't cut her. Be very, very careful when it comes to filing, guys. This can traumatize a client if you cut them. And I'm always flipping the nail around just because I want to make sure that her, pretty much her nails are straight on her end as well, like not just my view. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab, I love, I cannot stress how much I love this carbide bit. I will put it on the description below. This is a safety bit and I recommend it to anybody 
who is afraid to use the regular carbide bits because even now I'm scared to use them just because I don't want to cut anybody. But this one is a really, really good one and super inexpensive. I got it off of Amazon and I will put a description below on the description below so you guys can go ahead and give it a try. I do have the coarse one. This one is the fine, I believe, if not medium. I'm gonna double check. But I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much round the cuticle and I'm doing it careless, not carelessly, but I'm very careful. But it's a little bit more you know, free just because you can go around the cuticle without having to worry about cutting her. And it's super, super easy like to just file the nail, especially because it's like a big um, dr drill bit. So I definitely recommend it. And I'm always looking at the nail, just making sure everything is even. Now with my fine carbide bit, not carbide bit, my fine sanding band, I'm gonna go ahead and file off all the rough edges and all the like streaks that the carbide drip, drill bit might have left just smoothening out the whole surface and like I said I always leave my hand my thumb bald because I like to touch the surface of the nail and making sure everything is even Now I'm going to go ahead and buff the nail with my buffer. I kind of just do it gently, not so much just because I don't want to smoothen it so much. But underneath the nail as well, I don't like the rough edges and my clients don't either. So these decals, I got them off of Amazon as well. I'll put them down below and I pretty much just have to cut them and to whatever I want and then take off the plastic and throw them in the water for a little bit. Try not to throw them all in there because I had an issue where they got stuck to each other and that is not fun. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up her nails before I apply all of this and I'm cleaning it with swipe and that is pretty much a dehydrator as well. After I take off her the decal from the water I'm going to go ahead and apply it carefully and with some tweezers and then I don't put anything on top I just seal it and they are good to go look how gorgeous this set is it's so nice simple and pretty i'm using the valentino top coat you guys cannot believe how shiny this top coat is i absolutely love it only downside is that you cannot use it on gel it does crack um if you guys know of a way that wouldn't crack it let me know comment below but for some reason it feels i feel like it cracks it and I just love it. I love, love that set. Super, super cute. Now, I'm going to go ahead and apply these crystals. I'm using the Soule resin. I love this glue, but the top is always coming off and then i'm gonna go ahead and use like a big crystal they're all swarovskis i believe it's a 12 and then the eight on the sides and then kind of other little ones but i did go ahead and change it to just like a little moon i didn't really like this crystal um design that i did so i switched it up a little bit it was just too busy i did a very simple settled look afterwards how I didn't like that it's just all depending on personal preference as well and also your client if she likes it, it that's good but sometimes I'll I'll kind of suggest other things if I'm not a big fan of it of course it's always clients but you can always suggest things and just flip them over to see if they're even look how cute well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I am sorry again for not putting up content, but I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys have any questions, comments, definitely comment below. 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.